Hey guys, how's it going? It's just me, Reese, playing some Morrowind. So, uh, currently in Vivek, we gotta talk to, uh, I'm just gonna talk to, uh, uh, okay, apparently not. I just, well, I was, I was here to collect a ring, this ring, to be, in, uh, in particular, while we were, uh, collecting some quests, uh, and I gotta head on back to the Fighter's Guild guy, so we're gonna go do that. Maybe see what other job uh, we can pick up from him, and then um, we will might possibly go all the way down to Nick our Nickerdoms, Nick Nickerdoms, or whatever the hell, whatever the hell it's called. I don't even know, but uh, I gotta find the boat wherever in the bloody mess in hell that will be, and make our way back to the foreign quarter. Oh uh, shit! And I don't think this is the, this is anywhere of where I need to be right now. Uh, I'm completely trudging this. M imagine if I fell through the map again. If you guys didn't see that, watch my stuff. <laughs> just watch it. Uh, but yeah, I, I like literally just like glitched through and like went right into the water. It was fucking weird. But uh, I still need to level. I still need to like sleep and get a level up. Like this is g starting to get ridiculous. I went that whole last episode and I didn't even sleep to get a level up. So I've been sitting like at level seven now for like so long. Anyways, I'm gonna go on back up to the foreign quarter and talk to the fighters guild. Uh, I, I kind of want to go to more like uh Mornhold soon. Just so I can uh, get a Daedric Wakazashi and start leveling out my short blade, because uh, I need to. I honestly like really start need to start doing that if I want to level up high enough in House La House Lahu because that's one of their like main skills. And look at that acrobatics once again, top notch. We're still climbing, friends. Still climbing. All right, so we finally made it. Finally. Well, it took me, it took me like two minutes, which is sad to be honest. Like that's that's honestly it. like I think the worst thing about this game is that there's so much filler time with just walking around that like it can get a bit boring. So uh, I get like that's why I, I just want to keep talking, keep talking, you guys. All right, I got you, your freaking juice star. Juice star ring. I got a hundred bucks for it, which basically means that I lost a hundred bucks because I spent a hundred to get that. What kind of? Not yet, Creed. I'm not a high enough rank. Perform more duties. What else you got for me? There's a guardian that can't keep its mouth. Go shut down Tongue Toad's mouth. Go find Tongue Toad in the right and plot an old ruin. Silence him, and I'll give you five hundred septums. Cool. All right, I can do that. I can definitely do that. But do I want to? You know what? You know what? Let's let's do that. Shut him up. Then I'm gonna go to. Uh... What are you doing? Then I'm gonna go to uh, the one in the uh, Eld Run, and we're gonna do a quest for those guys as well. Cause I'm pretty sure one of those guys is a pretty big quest. So we're gonna go and do that quest. Cause I want like a serious like Fighters Guild, like like serious quest here friends like I'm tired of just like walking around kind of just like doing aimless quests also I need to sleep can I use this bed please <laughs> if you oh god in your dream a tall figure with a golden mask greeted you saying there are many rooms in the house of the master be easy for from the hand of your enemies I have delivered you it seemed you had died and could see yourself laid upon a table lit by candles. But with your own hands you touched the figure, and the figure drew breath, opened eyes, and rose from the table. Then the room was gone, and the whole world filled with light. And you awoke. So I'm starting to trip out now. Um, still didn't get the level up, which I actually... Oh my god! You dream that a tar f tall figure with a golden mask spoke to you, but you understood not a word. 
He smiled and seemed pleasant, but when you re but when he reached to touch you, it terrified you, and you tried to escape, but you couldn't move. You tried to cry out, but you couldn't make a sound. The figure kept smiling and talking, but you felt sure he was trying to cast some sort of spell on you. When you woke, you couldn't recall how the dream ended. My god, can I, like, seriously get a level up? Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's do the strength, speed, and, you know, let's, oh god, let's do my intelligence, because I want to be smart. Alright, so yeah, I'm kind of tripping out now in my dreams, you know, seeing uh, Dagoth are, like, everywhere. Why do I have the shitty pro boat? I want ebony. There we go. Alright, so we gotta go shut up that guy's, that guy's mouth. We gotta shut him up. Shut him up. Uh, the rat in the pot, I believe, is this building right here. Dealing with a really shitty blight storm right now. That's the old scar. Wait. Rat in the pot. Rat in the pot. Rat in the pot. Hmm. I think that's it, Ash. Wait. Yeah, that's it. Right there. Because that's the Fighters Guild. Right, rat in the pot. This has to be it. Yeah. Has to be it. Alright, so I gotta go shut that Argonian up. Sup, buddy? I'm tongue tool. Look, I sent you to kill me. Talk. Uh, let him leave town. Thank you, Credo. We'll leave soon as soon as watch over you. Yeah, all right. I'll just tell. I'll just tell him that I kill him. I don't like killing Argodians. Argodians are like my second favorite race in all of Morrowind. So, like, if I if if I can get by without killing Argodians, I'll do it. Cause I'd really rather not kill Argonians. Kind of had like a shitty time. Khajiits, you know, I don't give a fuck about Khajiits. I just. Khajiits. No thanks. But Argonians? I like our Argonians. They're, they're pretty legit. I'm gonna, like, upgrade my sneak. Like, oh my god, my sneak is, like, nothing right now. You know what? You know what? Let's just, like, go ham in the Microsoft Paint. I mean, I've got so much cash, right? Like, the, this is really not using up a lot of my, uh, gold right now. I'll level up like five more times. So that way, you know, actually, you know what? Let's just go straight to 20 for my sneak. Because my sneak was terrible. My sneak was like five. So, you know what? Boom! 15 level, fifteen levels in sneak. <laughs> Baby! Alright. Uh, I believe this is the guy. Order. Sometimes we get a contract from one of the locals and sometimes they're a bit strange. Has hired to provide us extra muscle to clean out a den of necromancers in Voss. Yeah, here we go. This is the big one, boys. Go to Voss and meet with boy buoyant armager Ulaine Hennen. Help her clear the necromancers out of Voss. Voss is far to the north. I'm telling you, man, it is far to the north. We are going on a journey, you guys. I am done. Your best bet would be to take a ship to Dragonfell from Telmora. Good luck to you. All right. We are going to go where we have not gone before, friends. We are going to explore and travel. Because this is where we are going. This tiny little fucking island all the way up in the north. Haven't explored any of this area yet. We haven't gone to Sadras Moor or any of that. We're going to head there right now. And we're going to do it up. We are going to do her up. Okay, I gotta see something quick as well. My airship. I can go to Soul Slime. Alright. Because, like, before I could activate Soul Slime with, like, everybody. I know exactly. Cruel has failed me. You have a deal. I'll head to Soul Slime. Oh, well, that's fine. I understand. Right. Wait, Creed, you did. Yeah, okay. So. Uh, like, uh, alright, you know what, while, while I, while I head to my location, I guess I'll explain about that guy. So, Soul Slime, if you guys have not played Morrowind, and I'm very disappointed in you guys if you haven't played Morrowind. But, Soul Slime is this whole island up here, and his ship, he had, like, this Dweamer airship that he invested a shit ton of money into. And it crashed in Soul Slime, and, you know, he's back in Morrowind, he has no money, and he doesn't know what the fuck to do. So... 
basically he wants me to go there and collect some of the research or see like what's going on but we're gonna go to Sadrith Mora boys where Sadrith Mora, Mora is you might ask also I never don't understand that ring at all but Sadrith Mora is literally just right here like right on the right side of the islands this is all house Telvanni area like area and you know most most of the these guys are like mages and stuff though very weird area the uh, s very weird area Sadrith Mora very weird very different from Eldrun this is another thieves guild like stronghold right there here like there's uh, one of the, the leaders is in here but uh, I can't talk to them anymore so this is like probably the weirdest thing about Sajith Moore are these very weird buildings right here they're like giant mushrooms they're pretty much giant like mushrooms it's very strange very odd but oh and the Telvanni guards uh, pretty much they look like they have the exact same armor as the uh, uh, Redoran guards except for that swag and helmet like, look at that swag and helmet anyways let's go friends also we might actually end up seeing the slaves too but I don't know where they are I don't know there's some, they're probably like up there but we're not going that way I guess I'll show you guys that way look at this thing too like look at this Woo. Woo. look at that door so weird all right so I gotta go to this ship and I gotta take the ship to another ship and I'm gonna take that ship to another ship and then we will be in somewhat walking distance to the destination oh okay maybe not maybe I can go straight to Dagon Fell sick so now we are on like the top island like there's nothing else on this upper area like there's nothing else. I can't I can't point at it there's nothing else on this like whole upper area up here besides this Dagon fell that like, is like the only place and like look at this town it's like literally nothing there's like five shaft six shacks and this building now let's check this building out or check these buildings out right here end of the world renter rooms end of the world renter rooms do you have like anything in particular I can talk about nothing really oh cool yo yeah let's get that why not <laughs> let's get the swag in uh Telvanni helm what how'd you refuse that come on Whatever. all right uh yeah man let's let's throw that on look at that Look at that. I look like I look like I hail Hail Cthulhu friends. Hail Cthulhu. Alright guys, well you know what? I don't even know where. This is this was a Nord settlement thousands of years until the Dumber drove the Nords from Morrowind, then the Dumber built a city here. The village built on the ruins of the Dweemer city since Morrowind Nord. Yeah, I, I I honestly don't know a whole lot about this. It seems like yeah, this is just like a gigantic uh, thing. Anyways, guys, uh, that's that's it for this episode. Oh, cool. Ah, you're not good enough for me, buddy. Anyways, uh, so until until next time, guys. I'm gonna obviously we're gonna head on down here and we're gonna go do ourselves a decent ass job is this a skill book no nope. all right so i'll see you guys later please leave a like comment hit that big old red button down there subscribe you know it means a lot to me but uh until then guys i will see you next time